Hi, I'm Mark Waite, and this is Jenkins in under five minutes. Jenkins is a continuous integration server. It provides two versions, a long-term support release and the development release. Let's take the long-term support release and download it. Now, I've already downloaded a copy to my local computer, so I'm just going to cancel the download, bring up my command window, and java minus jar jenkins.war. It's that easy. This will now start the Jenkins continuous integration server, load up any jobs that were already defined, and be ready to answer my questions. I get to Jenkins by opening a new web browser page and going to localhost port 8080. My Jenkins server is there, ready to go. So in order to use Jenkins, I need to create a new job. I'm a Git user, so I'm going to create a new job which builds a job a named Jenkins-demo-public. This is the Jenkins demo project that I have. It happens to be based on Ant. It'll use Git for its source control, and I'm going to copy that URL right from this web page and paste it here. There it is. It will now check, is that a valid URL? It is. And I'm going to add a build step to invoke ant, the default target, so no target needed. And I'm going to publish JUnit test reports. And in my job, test star.xml is where the, the tests are placed, the test results are placed. Now when I run that, it will check out the code from GitHub copy it here locally, execute ant, and execute the tests, and show me the test results. So if I watch here, I can see the log. It recorded the test results. And now, here it is. If I show latest test result, there they are. I can run it again. And it will create a graph showing me the history of the test results as I add new tests, as I delete tests. All convenient. Now, that was using a public project. What if I want to see my local changes before I ever show them to other people? What if I want conti personal continuous integration? Well, I can create a new job. That new job is going to be Jenkins Demo Private. And instead of copying from the public repository, I'm going to copy from my local repository. So my local repository is in on C temp Jenkins-demo. There it is, it found it. Same build step, ant. Same post build action, JUnit tests, test star.xml. Gonna save that, build it. And here you'll see the same results. It ran the build. The test was successful. I'll build it again. Now I'm going to go one step further while it's building that second time. Here's its test result. You see, yep, it's running its test. I'm going to go make a breaking change. And I'm going to check that breaking change into my local copy without placing it on the public repository. And I'm not going to run tests. So I just made a change. I'm now going to commit that. Change my name in the mark weight object. Now this job could have been configured to poll and it would monitor it. I'm just going to go ahead and build it now and we'll see that it will compile successfully but one of the tests is going to fail. That test failed. Uh-oh. Test failed. There it is. Now we can see the test results. There's that red. Tells me we've got a test failure. Shows me what the test is that failed and shows me why it failed and how it failed. Now mind you, I did not push that change anywhere. This evaluated my changes locally. Can't you just imagine all the things you can do now with local ability to execute tests in the background on your own computer without waiting for a check-in to the central repository?